Yeah, breach. 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 Terrified children let out from their hiding places with hands in the air. When I look at Parkland, that's any school in the United States. This image, one that has become all too familiar, students evacuating with their hands up. Being so close to Palm Beach County, you definitely have to take that into play. That, that is a reality. It's something that we could face tomorrow. Terrorist events are inevitable. The thing that we cannot do is think that terrorist events happen to other people. Not if it happens, it's when it happens. In Florida's third most populated county, South Florida's first responders are making sure they're ready. They've fanned out over Palm Beach County's 2,386 square miles, training to fight terrorism through an exercise called Operation Heat Shield 2. We have multiple agencies here either exercising together and um, demonstrating the fact that they can come together. I mean, agencies from Miami-Dade, Broward, Palm Beach, City of Miami, and everybody in between. In all, more than a thousand first responders and volunteers from more than 30 different agencies put their skills to the test. It isn't just about law enforcement response, it's about fire rescue response, it's about the hospital's cooperation, it's about getting as many victims as we can that they're still savable to get them to the proper uh, place as quickly as possible to save as many lives as we can. We need to be ready to, be, to do our job, and training is, is how we get there. Keep pushing, push wide, push wide! You that away! Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up! The premise of the exercise is a, a group came together and planned and executed a complex coordinated attack uh, in Palm Beach County, which called for the resources of our regional partners. This is going to test our abilities to respond to complex coordinated attacks, in other words, multiple locations at the same time, which is the bad guy's way of trying to deplete our resources. terrorist attacks around the world were the models to develop the scenarios they practice. Here, using a Black Hawk helicopter from Customs Border Protection, they test a technique called fast roping. That scenario was basically to show that our teams have the capability to fast rope on top of a roof should a World Trade Center event or a Mumbai event where they use fire as a weapon take control of the bottom floors. Exercise is, is important, so when the time comes that you need to do that in a real environment, it's not new to you. Out, out, it goes out, 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 outside. Just as important is something else they gained from Heat Shield 2. The reason why we do exercises like this is communication. It's, it's knowing your fellow partners. If we have to ask for mutual aid from Broward County or Miami-Dade, we already know uh, our, our partners. When terrorists strike, that help and quick response from other agencies is critical. Shot fire on you downstairs. Lower level inside. We have a subject with cut to the head. For example, in the Fort Lauderdale shooting, uh, 17 SWAT teams came together at Fort Lauderdale Airport to help re resolve that incident. Through different scenarios across Palm Beach County, they work together. In one, police and fire rescue must call upon what they've learned respond to a sniper attack at the Wellington Green Mall. Keep us going wide! Go wide! Let's move! Can you walk to me? Everything happens so quickly, similar to how an active shooter scenario would be. Once something has happened, we're already we're responding to it. So we're already behind the curve. So we need to get in front of it as efficiently as possible. They don gas masks and hazmat gear to fight chemical and biohazard attacks. Give us a second so we can finish the whole roof. 
They launched boats and drones in response to an attack near the Pahokee Marina. Delray, Riviera Beach, and Palm Beach Gardens police invade the Palm Beach County stockade to rescue hostages. They save students at Glades Day School, where explosives have been planted. Break up illegal protest at the Port of Palm Beach and search for a shooter while tending to the victims of a mass casualty attack at another school. Because time is of the essence, they work to safely but quickly bring in fire rescue to save as many lives as possible. Everything they do depends on communication, which is why even police and fire incident commanders now set up their command post at the scene side by side. After Parkland, we were we just were reminded how important it is for that common wide communication for everyone to be operating on the same page. All law enforcement as well as fire rescue that attended today really took today's training to heart due to the events that occurred in Parkland being so close to home. My first day with the Sheriff's Office was actually the day after 9-11. It makes you want to train harder. It makes you put more effort into it and uh, especially when it hits home. This is home, and the people they protect and serve are not just citizens and visitors, but friends, neighbors, and family. These men and women take their job extremely serious. I, I want to let the public know that we really, really care. We are here for them, that we hold their lives before ours, that these officers will put themselves between the citizen and the bad guys that we are the ones who will come and we will run to the gunfire and that we will try to save their lives.